welcome back to the Two Maniac Network. Something strange is happening to our world. We have at some point, decided to share some updates with you. Planet X Nibiru Regardless of the specific type or content of the material being withheld, assuming a cover-up goes on long enough, sooner or later Murphy's Law kicks in. In other words, if something can go wrong, eventually it will go wrong. From personal experience, I've noticed seemingly whenever NBC on particular is involved, the chances of something going wrong raise by a factor of 10 because they are such boobs. Case and point, on around January 14, 2014, KCRA Channel 3, Sacramento News was recording from their helicopter prior to going live for their morning show. That was when they spotted the enormous planet in the sky that did not belong there. The video that you'll see was taken from their own news helicopter. While recording footage of the planet taken live, which begins about two minutes into the video, the filming crew calls the station and not even the meteorologist has any explanation for what they are seeing. Watch the video to finally see what Uncle Sam has been trying so hard to cover up. We are back. Stargazing. It is a celestial rock. Awakening. In space, if you will. Uh, Dirk, D oh, okay, Dirk, what is it? We're all like, it's, it's a planet? Is, is, is it the moon? Actually, what is it? Actually, we've been searching trying to find you in the newsroom because we know you know. Dirk, what is it? Well, I, that's interesting. I mean, I've been... I was, <laughs> Is it, is it the moon? I don't know. You'd have to back up. I'd have to be outside to really see, but that looks like a point of light. But they, and if it's close to the sun where the sun's coming up, then more than likely that's... Uh, I can't believe that we could see Venus that close. But it is a planet, right, because it's not twinkling, or is that, is that a myth? No, I, I would say that that's a planet, yeah, but... It's I, Saturn. It's hard. Okay, camera wants in on this one. It. She's been Googling. No, that can't be Saturn unless there's be. an eclipse going on. No, because you don't see Saturn as with a chunk taken out of it. Maybe that's the you only see on. You only see the moon uh, that have a chunk like that. And the only other planet that I know of that you see a chunk taken out of it like that would be Venus. Um, because it's on the inside planet. Uh, Saturn and Jupiter, they're all outside planets right. from Earth. And this, Earth, friends, so is what it's that. like when you stop by the weather department <laughs> at any moment. Right. These yeah. are the kinds of conversations that but you will stumble into. I need to go outside and see it so Let's I can be sure what I'm looking at. Let's just send you up in the chopper at. so you can investigate properly. How oh, I'd that? love to. I agree. Okay. Yeah, go up into the KCR <laughs> Observatory and get back to us. <laughs> Thank you, Dirk. All right. Okay. As awesome as it is to see Planet X or Nibiru, Whichever you chose to call it, no one filming asked the obvious question. If government is concealing the information or they are downright lying about there being another planet, why are they lying about it? What do they know? Secret societies entrenched in the highest levels of government have swindled trillions in tax revenue from your hard-earned money to be used to build gigantic underground bunkers for their protection, is a great place to start. And all of the articles below are also great resources to begin putting the pieces together. What has people so nervous about Planet X, Nibiru, Wormwood, or whatever you choose to call the planet, is the fear of what the planet will it bring with it. Are Nemesis and Nibiru hiding behind the sun? With so many people wondering about other world affairs and not looking to the sky, could Planet X already be showing itself? In January 2015, an interview with Bob Fletcher predicted that martial law will be invoked in the U.S. within six months of the worldwide naked eye observations of objects in the Planet X system for the first time. Bob is one of the guests in Part 3 above. In the video below, what has long been suspected should now serve as confirmation even to the most uninformed skeptics out there. The planet is precisely where it has been said to be, it has the reddish colored cloud around it which is said to be a cloud of dust iron oxide red, making the rivers and lakes acquire a reddish color. To a simple guy like me, all the confirmation I need that Planet X, or Nibiru is real, is the fact that previous efforts were taken to remove any evidence of the planet from Google Sky. Last I checked, you don't have to doctor footage of things are not there. Here are 20 other things you should know about Nibiru Planet X. Ancient Code Reports, 
Zechariah Sitchin described Nibiru according to Sumerian cosmology as the twelfth planet. Nibiru is home to an alien race called the Anunnaki an extreme advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Researchers have talked about the possibility of a giant planet that has an extreme strange orbit around our sun. In 2008, Japanese researchers announced that according to their calculations, there should be an undiscovered planet at a distance of about 100 astronomical units, astronomical units, that has a size of up to two-thirds of the planet Earth. These calculations support the hypothesis of the existence of Nibiru, or Planet X. Here we bring you this 20 things you should know about the mysterious planet Nibiru. 1. The name Nibiru originated from the ancient Sumerians, who once inhabited ancient Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq. It is the twelfth planet described by Zechariah Sitchin. 2. Nibiru is also called Martuk, and it arrives to our solar system with extreme clockwise elliptical course. 3. According to several ancient texts from Mesopotamia, there is strong evidence that supports theories that Nibiru has an orbital period of 3,600 years. The number 3,600 was represented by the Sumerians as a large circle. 4. The expression for the planet, the Eshara also means a perfect circle or full circle and also represents the number. 5. Ancient astronaut theorists believe that the convergence of the three concepts of a planet, orbit, and number 3600 could not be a coincidence. 6. Strangely, the periods of the kingdom were also multiples of Shar, 3600 years, leading to the speculation that the empire shares were related to the orbital period of 3600 years. 7. NASA had identified a planet with an anomalous orbit around our Sun, they refer to it as Planet X. The Washington Post and other news agencies wrote about it in 1983 and the coming years. 8. According to the Washington Post, a heavenly body possibly as large as the giant planet Jupiter and possibly so close to Earth that it would be part of this solar system has been found in the direction of the constellation Orion by an orbiting telescope aboard the U.S. infrared astronomical satellite. All I can tell you is that we don't know what it is, said Jerry Nugobauer, chief IRAs scientist. 9. R. Harrington wrote a very interesting article in the Astronomical Journal in 1988. Harrington suggested that a planet three or four times the size of Earth existed, having a position of three or four times further from the Sun than Pluto. According to mathematical models that were presented, it is believed that Planet X or Nibiru has an extreme elliptical orbit of 30 degrees. 10. It is believed that the planet originated from the Orion constellation, passing near our planet and coming towards it from the Sun, after making its way by Earth, it head towards outer space and disappears Euro disappears Euro. 11. Mythologically speaking, it has the appearance of a fiery beast, appearing in the sky as a second Sun. 12. Nibiru is a magnetic planet, causing the Earth to tilt in space as it passes. 13. Nibiru is believed to have four times the diameter of Earth and is 23 times more massive, a truly gigantic planet. 14. According to ancient texts, Nibiru is wrapped in a cloud of dust iron oxide red, making the rivers and lakes acquire a reddish color. 15. It is believed that it would cause days of obscurity while passing next to other planets possibly even stopping their rotation during its transition across space due to its incredible magnetic properties. 16. Nibiru is also associated with great dangers. Some researchers believe if a planet like Nibiru would come close to Earth, it would cause large earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions creating an entirely new geography and climate. 17. It is called the Destroyer and the Culbrant a parallel Bible located in the monastery of Glastonbury in Scotland, men forget the days of the destroyer. Only the wise know where it went and that it shall return at the appointed time.
It is the destroyers its color was bright and fierce and ever changing, with an unstable appearance as fierce body of flames. 18. According to the U.S. News World Report, Planet X or Nebiru exists, the article, shrouded from the sun's light, mysteriously tugging at the orbits of Uranus and Neptune, is an unseen force that astronomers suspect may be Planet X is a tenth resident of the Earth's celestial neighborhood. Last year, the infrared astronomical satellite, IRAS, circling in a polar orbit 560 miles from the Earth, detected heat from an object about 50 billion miles away that is now the subject of intense speculation. 19. According to an article published in Newsweek on July 13, 1987, NASA disclosed that there may be a tenth planet orbiting our Sun. According to NASA research scientist John Anderson, Planet X might actually be out there, but nowhere near our planets. The article from Newsweek states, see if he is right, two of the most intriguing puzzles of space science might be solved, what caused the mysterious irregularities in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune during the 19th century, and what killed off the dinosaurs 26 million years ago. 20. On October 23, 1996 an article from AP called A New Rebel Planet Found Outside the Solar System states the following, A new planet that breaks all the rules about how and where planets form has been identified in orbit of a twin star about 70 light years from Earth in a constellation commonly known as the Northern Cross. The new planet has a roller coaster like orbit that swoops down close to its central star and then swings far out into frigid fringes following a strange egg-shaped orbit that is unlike that of any other known.